my friends, how you doing? I am doing well. I'm doing I'm doing better than well. Cause listen, listen, listen. If you have been watching this channel, you know that I I I I was I was teaching for a while. I, I was I was a preschool teacher for for about eight years, and then uh, I was doing preschool uh, um, Sunday school, and uh, I decided to uh, leave my job because it just it just something something didn't seem right. Something didn't seem right. I was having some so I was button heads. There was there was there was things going on. Okay, so I, I decided you know it's 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 time it's time to go. It's time to go. But I was I was I was truly believing. Truly believing that something better was in the pike, something better was gonna come along. I believed that. Okay? I, I had total faith that no matter what I did, I walked. I, listen, I had no income. No, I, I still got no income, but I I had no income. Okay, I, I there was no money coming into my house whatsoever except for the money that my wife was bringing in. And we got we got a mortgage, we got car payments, we got, we got things we got to pay on. There's things going on in our lives that I'll tell you, I I I I, I got to give it all the faith. I got to give it the faith. And, and and tell you because because I'll tell you right now our, our house recently um they they gave us uh the insurance company gave us a little bit of a hard time they said that the, the rear end of the house had to be fixed up or whatever and then they quoted us a price and we had somebody come in and, and it originally it was like five hundred bucks to fix the last little corner there but this person wasn't a licensed contractor so so that wasn't gonna do the job and then and then we had another guy come in and he's like let's let's finance you for this that two uh, was what was it uh twenty thousand twenty thousand. Twenty thousand five hundred dollars, something like that, and then, and then, and then something, something came along, something came along. So, because twenty thousand five hundred dollars, my friends, listen, I ain't got no twenty thousand five hundred dollars. They ain't gonna happen. That was never gonna happen. My wife's sitting down. She's like financing. They said, they, they, listen, this this place that wanted to put the siding and everything on our house, they they went so far as to send us a box of fudge, okay? Listen, when the company send you a box of fudge and saying, uh, listen, we appreciate your time and whatever, when they can afford to do that, you know they'd be making a lot, a lot of money because we didn't even say yes. They just sent me sent us a box of fudge out of out of we hope so okay so if they can afford to be sent I can't afford fudge normally I can't listen I only time I ever get fudge is usually like if we go to like a special on a special trip and one of my daughters like buy some fudge or she buy some she's like you want to try some fudge that and then I take a bite I get a bite of fudge I get a little piece of fudge or I get a little tiny tiny little bite and usually it's like the peanut butter one I'm like yeah you have peanut butter in there she's like yeah I got peanut butter in there I'm like I got all the pieces of peanut butter I have a piece of the peanut butter one a couple little bites and then then she's like well the rest is mine because I paid a lot of money for this fudge fudge is expensive that's what I'm gonna say that's what I'm gonna say but Sometimes we go on these trips, and and that's what the, the salt water taffy and the fudge are the things that you buy when you go on these trips because it's it's, it's stupid places, stupid places that I don't want to be at, places that have beaches and stuff like that. I don't like beaches, but stupid places like that. But then they got these little stores, and you go into little stores, and what there's nothing else you can buy besides keychains and fudge and, and and salt water taffy, and it's just that's just the way it is, okay. So anyway, so we get a box of fudge from this guy, and he's like twenty thousand five hundred, twenty thousand. Whoa, no way. No, I'm not working. I got no money coming. Mister. Okay. Oh, we need to finance you. Did, did we fail to understand that I, I have no income? If I got no income, therefore, you're going to check and you're going to say, well, this guy can't afford to pay anything because he ain't making anything. Okay? If you ain't making nothing, you can't pay on something. You know what I mean? So they ain't going to give me no no $20,500 loan on a man that ain't making a dime. <laughs> Let's go. You know what I mean? It ain't happening. Okay, it ain't happening. And I got, and I got, I got a whole other rant about something else going that keeps going on around here. Uh, um, so I ain't got it. I ain't got it. Okay, but, but, um, all of a sudden, uh, we had somebody come in and quote us a different price. Um, still extremely high. I mean, thousands. Uh, but the house had to be done. Had to be done. Faith, prayers, good vibes, whatever you want to call it, all of a sudden, bam. The stuff's getting dropped off on our front lawn. I I, I had a panic attack, okay? When, when the stuff got dropped off on the front lawn and the guy's like, uh, it's like $10,000 $10, for this. And I'm like, what was it? Whoa, 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 where did this come from? I, I don't have that. Where am I going to get that from? He drops it off on the front lawn. He takes off. He's like, well, the guy's going to come in here. He's going to come fix the house. going to cost another whatever. I'm going to cost another what? So you tell me what whatever's on the lawn over there is gonna cost me something. Ain't gonna cost me more for something else down, down the line. Yeah, they're gonna come and install the stuff. When they come and install the stuff, they're gonna charge you to install the stuff. But if not, you can't get the house insured, and then you then you in trouble. I'm like, ah. Oh. 
Man, so I, I stepped back. I got actually I went for a walk. I went for a walk. I'm like, I gotta get out of the house. I went for a walk and I got my car I went for a ride. I'm like, I'm riding and walking out. I, I, I gotta burn off some of this this anxiety and the panic attack that I was having, okay? Cause I'm like, listen, I ain't got no job. If you remember correctly, I walked out of my job back in uh, like June, okay? I think I think it was like June or uh, March, April, May, maybe May, late May, early June. I I, I done. I was done. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'm done. I, I, took, I took the old leap. Woo! Leap of faith. That's what I took. I took a leap of faith. And I trusted that that the powers that be were going to take care of me. That's what I, that's what I believed. So I left. And uh, a lot of stuff dropped in the lawn. And, and the house is get, done got fixed. <laughs> It don't even look like my house anymore. It don't don't even look like my house anymore. Not a bad. That's not in a bad way. Because if you see my house, if I, I can't. I don't want to give you guys before and after pictures because I don't. I don't. I don't need that in my life. But I'm just saying that if you were to see what was going on before and then now after, whoa! It, it, I, I, it's like one of these things. Listen, truly, truly, I don't. I, I had a problem with it because I don't deserve it. I don't deserve. I'm a type of guy that don't believe that I deserve anything. I don't believe I don't believe that good things should happen to me because I don't believe I'm a good person. I try to be a good person, but I can't I can never reach that goal of being a good as good as I, I would I would like to be. I make mistakes. I make mistakes every day like everybody else does, but I'm a little bit hotter on myself. A little hotter on myself about the things that I do. And and, and sometimes uh, you know, the wife looks at me and she's like that, that wasn't that bad. You know, you 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 helped a lot of people, you helped a lot of kids, you helped a lot of families, you helped a lot you've been doing a lot to Throughout the years, but you don't look at it that way. I'm like, yeah, because I, I need to stay humble. I need to stay humble and be like, yeah, okay, I did this stuff because that's what I was meant to do, and that's that's why I was put on this earth was to take care of kids. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, I get this this message. I get this message, and I'm like, what's going on now? Well, what, what, hey, listen, I, I just got the house fixed, and, and and that don't know how that happened, and now I'm getting this message from from this uh, this person and i'm like okay uh, uh yeah we, we i want to have a meeting with you uh, i want to talk to you about whatever you're a male preschool teacher and male preschool teachers are like gold i guess that's that's a main that, that's a thing that's a thing it's, i've been i've been told that for years that there's very minimal guys that want to take care of three four and five year olds okay and i'll just tell i'm be perfectly honest with you when my kids were three, four, and five, that's when I was the best. Because when you, when the kids are three, four, and five, you can do anything exciting. And I, I mean, I would literally. There was a, a gag I used to do at lunchtime for the kids where I would I would help them with their lunches. This is when I was when I was te working at the preschool, and I would go through their lunches and everything. Because I'd have to put the lunches on the table and everything for them and everything. And then they wanted help with their snacks, open up their snacks and everything. So I'm like, so I would if they had a Twinkie. Okay, I did this thing where I put the Twinkie on my arm, and then I put this hand over here, and then I put this hand over here, and I go like this, and I move the Twinkie up my arm, and it, it looked it looked from that from that angle like the Twinkie was floating up my arm. Okay, these kids were in ooh and ah. I mean, this thing, this this thing that we we've been doing for years. You show that to a three, four, and five year old, they they literally go home to their parents, and they they like trying to show that to mom and dad. That's like that's like a, look look I got I got disconnect my finger, mom. Look 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 what he taught me to listen. Kids, kids are amazing. Okay, they 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 just they blow my mind that the things that the things that they come up with and the things that that they we you can do and have fun with them and everything. Listen, it, the the big thing about kids is kids know they know when you don't like them. They know when you when you're you're having a problem with them. They know when you're sad. They know when you're happy. They got like this strange sixth sense. It's like a weird thing going on. So I, I would go out, I put on my happy face every morning and I go into my job and I wasn't happy. And I'd have the happy face on or whatever so that the kids wouldn't know that I was happy. But inside I was busted. I was busted and broken up inside because I was struggling every single day. And I felt, I, 
I was hurting. I was hurting. And every once in a while, I tell one, we had one little girl in particular, she'd make funny faces, whatever. And I'd be like, hey, uh, hey, can you make that funny face for me, whatever? And that would cheer me up. Matter of fact, on a graduation day, I went up to her and I said, listen, guys, can you just do me a favor? Just one more time. One more time, show me the funny face. And she did this thing where she crosses her eyes, sticks out her tongue, and, and it, it actually brightened my day. That that was like it. But the, the sad thing was that she was only there a couple of days a week. So I could only get my day brightened a couple of days a week. Then I had to look for other, other children that had these two cool little funny tricks that would make me happy about myself and what I was doing. But anyway, I got that call. And I, I go on an interview, okay? With, I got to say... A person that that I I truly believe it may not even be human. This was the most, most unbelievable thing that could ever happen in my life because I couldn't have been talking to a person that was more loving and more caring and more more uh, concerned about children and family than than me. Okay, okay, than me because that's what I was all about. I was, listen, I I was I was never about the money. I was ne when it came to my job. I could care less. My wife's got a decent job. She helps pay the mortgage. She pays the thing. My job was kind of like just to fill in the bits and pieces, okay? But it, my my big thing was if I didn't love my job, if I want to get up every morning and do my job for absolutely free, there was no purpose of me doing my job because I, I had those jobs. I had those those terrible jobs for years and years and years and years that I did just to make a buck so I could make, make so I could put food on the table so I could have Christmases and have holidays with my kids so I could get them their clothes and their school clothes and all the things that they need. I had those jobs and they made me miserable. And then all of a sudden my kids got older and I was like, no, I'm done with that. I'm done with that. Now it's time to make me happy. I'm going to find something that's going to make me happy. I'm going to go back to school. I'm going to leave this place. I'm going to go back to school. I'm going to become a teacher, okay, and I was I was going to become an elementary school teacher, but then I was like, no, 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 wait a minute. I I I did some uh, interning at this particular preschool, and I fell in love with the director. I fell in love with the the, the teachers. I, they were just amazing people. There was so much love, and and I'll tell you the other thing too that used to blow my mind is uh, there's no no religion in the schools, whatever. Now I don't believe in religion. I believe in a relationship. I believe I have a relationship with a higher being, okay? And that's my thing, okay? I, I don't like to talk too much about religion and stuff like that on this channel because that always messes people's heads up, okay? But you believe in whatever you want to believe in. I ain't pushing nothing on nobody, okay? If you believe in a, a higher being, then you're, me, me and you and everybody else as well probably believing in the same thing, okay? That's, that's the way I look at it. If you're looking to somebody else besides yourself to, to put food on your table, if you're like, if you're giving thanks to somebody, somebody besides yourself, then you're giving thanks to the right person. That's that, that's the way I feel. So I, I go and I, I get this new job, you know, and, and uh, do this internship. And I see this this picture of Jesus. It's a picture of Jesus. You know, the old school picture of Jesus where you go anywhere in the room and Jesus be staring at you. You know, he'd be looking at you wherever you go. Picture of Jesus. She had one on top of her computer. I'm like, this is not normal. This is not normal for a school to have a picture of Jesus what a, especially one of these old 70s style ones where Jesus be looking at you wherever you go you're like, you're like you can't do nothing you can't do nothing because Jesus be walking you wherever you go and um it, it took it took me back and I'm like wow you know this this lady and, and, and then she would like Thanksgiving would come and she said wait a minute wait before we eat we got to give thanks now she didn't make you pray but she would say I I we want to give thanks for our food it was like one of these things like you think you're thanking somebody because somebody put that food on the table whether it be a person a being or uh, whatever is some somebody put that food on the table okay somebody somebody done blessed you with your food okay and we were supposed to give thanks and, and then and then that all came to an end everything just stopped everything just stopped and everything changed things became different and 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 everything was just kind of went out of whack i mean uh i don't know it was so, so, something something just not did not feel right in the force okay. there is a great disturbance in the force okay something something the force the force was awakened okay and and it was, was not awakened to me i was actually I, I was actually digressing, not not increasing. I was going, I was going back. You know, I was like, I was backing up, and I was like, whoa, whoa I'm, I'm, I don't want to do nothing no more. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting angry, cranky, lazy. I, I'm not me anymore. Something was changing in me. So, so, but then this lady shows up. She's out of nowhere, and um, I, I, I could, I, I gotta tell you, the interview could not have gone any better. Everything that I had on my heart and in my mind, she said. Everything that I wanted my my school to be, it was going to be. It, 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 
it was like you 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 figure out what you want to do. You make the plans. You 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 decide what you want to do with the children. You want to do puppets, you do puppets. You want to you want to do a talking truck board, you do a talking truck board. You want to come in with a magic hat one day, you come in with a magic hat one day. Not magic cat. I don't have a magic cat. A magic hat one day, you come in with a magic hat. You do whatever you need to do to teach and educate and have fun with these children because that's why they come to the school is to be educated and to learn and to have fun and to feel safe and to feel happy and to feel loved. There ain't nothing wrong with giving a three, four, and five year old a hug if they give you a hug. There ain't no wrong with there's nothing wrong when a child tells you that they love you to tell them that you love them back. Because I might be the only man that might be in that child's life. Okay, I might be the only man that they've seen. Dad might have left, dad might have OD'd, dad might be just gone. Okay, that was the situations that I was dealing with at the school. Okay, the, the, kids didn't have fathers. A lot, a lot of the children did not have fathers. The fathers walked out, the, the, the our parents were divorced fighting all the time. Tons of things going on, okay? Tons of things going on, and children get affected by that stuff, and people don't think so. People don't... They, when you're yelling and screaming at your wife or your husband or whatever it is, who's standing in the middle listening to you yell and scream? The child. Wonder why I know that? Because I was that child, okay? I was in the middle. I was hiding in the corner. I was hiding in the closet. I was peeking through the door, listening to my mother and father yell and scream and watch things flying through the room and, and glasses being shattered and, and lunches being thrown and, and things being smashed, okay? I was that child and it affected me. So I don't want that stuff to affect the child. I want to be that person for that child. I want to be there if they need me. They want to talk to me. I want them to feel comfortable enough that they can come to a man and talk to them like a, like a dad. And in turn, I treated every single child. I don't care what the child's situation, color, uh, whatever. I didn't care what was going on with that child. I tried to teach every child, tr treat every child the, the same way. I tried to treat them with love. And, and if they, they they had a problem, I wanted to listen to their problems. And that's what I did. I did that for a lot of years. But it wasn't even the kids that, that made me want to take that leap. It wasn't the kids that made me take the leap. It was it was a situation that I, I could not fix. I, I tried for five years and I could not fix it. You know, you, you, you ever... You ever you ever have this, this a special person, special people in your life that that you 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 try to change and you're not so much try to change, but you like try you try to be a light. You try to be a light. Try to show them things like eh, maybe you should be this way. Or maybe you should stop thinking about that. Maybe you shouldn't be miserable all the time. Maybe you should be happy. Stop looking at the negativity all the time. Maybe you should be happy about something or whatever. Uh, and, and then all of a sudden, it, it's just no change, no change. I mean, yeah. And week and week and week and year and year and year, and then nothing changes, and you're working the same day. And then what what happens to a person like that? What happens to you is if you work on the side of a person that's miserable all the time, you become miserable yourself. You do. I'm sorry. It rubs off on you and you no longer become you. You, In order for you to fit in with the crowd and fit in with the, with, with the group or whatever, you got to become that miserable person too. And then, then, and then what, what I did is I stepped out and I, I was told by somebody um, that they thought better of me. They thought better of me. And that was the key that was the sign that i needed ah, that was the sign i needed i thought better of you thank you thank you for those words because those words set me free because i stopped i was i was driving down my street driving down my street and the words came i thought better of you and i stopped and I looked at myself. I pulled over on the side of the road and I looked at myself. I looked in the little rear view mirror thing. I looked at myself and I looked into my eyes. And this is a very strange thing, but this is this is a very true thing. I looked at myself and I'm like this. I think better of myself. You're right. I thought better of me. I'm, I've done, I'm, I've sunk to a whole new level. I think better of me. I'm better than this. I, you're, you're right. I'm better than this. I'm better than this. I love children. I love taking care of children. I have four children. I loved when they were little. I love taking care of them and teaching them. I Listen, my, my, my wife worked uh, first shift. I was home with them all day long. We had a chalkboard and, and an easel and everything all set up. And I would sit there and I would play school with them. And they learned how to read and write before they went to school. I took the time. We, But not only did we read and write, we played. We played. I sat there and played dolls with them. Listen, I'm a grown man, but time goes by too fast. Children are precious. 
You take your time and you love these kids and you enjoy the time with these kids. Parents, teachers, what, if this is what you do, you, you love and enjoy every minute of it. And I'll tell you, when I first started my job, I loved every minute of it. I would sit down and I'd build Lego houses with the kids and I would do puzzles with the kids. And then I found myself starting to back off a little bit because I started feeling uncomfortable. I started feeling like I'm doing something wrong, like something's not right here. But then this this thing happened, like I said, and it couldn't have been any better. And I and I gotta give I gotta give a God thanks. I gotta throw out that I gotta throw it out. I gotta give a God thanks because I truly feel like like there's a plan for everybody. Everybody's got a plan in their life, and it, it, it I stuck to the plan. I, I I faithfully walked out, and I'll tell you, I walked out, and I walked from one room to another room, and I I got my car, drove down the street, and I got home, and I looked at myself straight in the mirror in the bathroom. I looked straight at my my face, and I was like, "What did you just do? And why did you just do it? You loved that job. You, this is the only job in your life you ever loved. What did you just do?" But then I didn't realize. No, I didn't realize that there, there's there's a there's a bigger bigger path a bit a bigger a bigger thing for me like like there was something bigger it, it became more about me and less about the kids it became more about the drama and less about the kids everything became more it, it, was, it was a mess no no not anymore not anymore because i truly feel like this guy is about to have a a uh, a journey. I'm going on a journey. I'm going on. I'm going on a, a fantastic journey, and it's going to be absolutely amazing. And I am going to to break out. The, I I binned up all my puppets. Puppets are getting out of the bins. The talking chalkboard thing is coming back out of the thing. Okay, my bag of candy treats is coming back out of there, and it's it's time for a new. So I'm putting all that stuff, all that all that negativity and craziness in the in the past. And I'm moving on. I'm moving on. And I'm going to feel good about myself. I'm going to feel good to be able to, to actually teach the way I want to teach. To do the things I want to do. To, I mean, I always wanted to have a play. Uh, like, literally do a play. Preferably Stone Soup. I don't know if you know the story about Stone Soup. But my daughter did Stone Soup when she was in kindergarten. And I was like, I always wanted to do a play. That could be possible. I loved Christmas concerts. I would like, every year I want, I want to have a Christmas concert. That's possible. Anything it sounds to me that anything with this place is possible. And that is amazing. I mean, it's amazing to go from, I don't know what the heck I just did, to you're gonna about you're about ready to, to be given the gift. It's like it's like giving you like I just I just like I just got Wonka's golden ticket. Like I got the golden ticket. Okay, there was only five of us, and we're going to go see the factory. Okay, that's how I feel. I feel like getting up and dancing like Grandpa Joe, and, and I got the golden ticket. I, and that's what I feel like doing because dang this is this is a good good day in my life and i want to share that with my friends i want to share that with you and i went out too long i went out too long i apologize i hope you hung in there and i do have some packages i got i got one make sure i got the back one two three oh they did it again and four packages a box i'm gonna go with the box last i got four packages where's my where's, where's the knife where's, oh, there it is. where's the knife's over there okay um so let's let's break these bad boys out see what we got now, um, I'll tell you what I've been into lately. First, first of all, um, I, w I watched the movie last night. Uh, actually, yesterday afternoon. Um, this new fire starter, great. I thought it was great. I thought it was great. I thought it was great. The only issue I had with it was the fact that I do uh, because I I'm such a big fan of the Drew Barrymore one, the the, the old school Stephen King one. I was doing a lot of comparisons. I uh, I don't know about you, but when when they do a remake, you 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 if you're if you're like me, you just tear apart the new. The new remake. You're like, you're tearing it apart. Like, wait, that wasn't that. Then, well, what's going on with that? What's going on with this? There was a couple of scenes. That, like, I was waiting for that, uh, uh, the, the guy there uh, that was supposed to befriend her and then become uh, become the killer or whatever. But but then they did a... a it was weird because there was like a scene and then it, it, did, it just didn't make any sense. It was like thrown in there and then not, it didn't go anywhere. Uh, so it was a little confusing. Um, as far as Zac Efron being the dad in this thing, eh, a little unbelievable at times. Uh, the little girl was good. She was amazing. And it's very difficult to find a, a really good... Uh, leading lady uh scream queen young lady you know what i mean like a, like a, a child actor okay and this little girl i don't, I'm, I'm gonna i'm not gonna get her I'm, I'm gonna mess this up i'm not gonna give her the props that she needs because because unfortunately on the back of the thing it does not say her name okay 
probably says it on this thing. I'm going to go crazy on this thing. Here we go. Uh, Firestarter, Zach Efron, uh, Ryan, Kara, Armstrong, with Michael and Gloria Rubin. I don't know who she is. I'm not sure which one she is. Usually when it's a, a, a child star, they'll put her in at the end. So she's possibly Gloria Rubin, but she should have been on the head at the top of this thing because she was the star of the show. This thing was great. Absolutely. I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it, but I had to put that old school. I had, I had to forget about the original Firestarter and, and just go on and go for the ride. And it was a good ride. It was a fun ride. And I just want to share that with you that the new Firestarter, if you do not have it, I think it's a pickup. I think it's a, definitely a pickup. I think it's worth picking up. I think it's worth spending the money on. Um, I, I wouldn't do the $22 or whatever that is at Walmart, $23, whatever, for the Blu-ray. I, I, I would wait for it to go a little bit cheaper because yeah, maybe Black Friday thing or something. I don't know. I think I don't think I paid too much for it. I, pretty, I got a semi-good... I think it was like I think it was a $15, $18 job. You know what I mean? But it was lack of digital code. I bought it used... It was good. It was it was good, enjoyable. I watched it with the wife. She sat through the whole thing, and she only fell asleep uh, two minutes before the ending. So uh, that's good. And uh, if, if you don't watch my channel, my wife can't make it through a whole movie at home. She just can't. Okay, that, This could be the best movie in the world. She'd be watching the absolute... This could be, hands down, the number one movie that anybody's ever seen in their life. And she will still fall asleep if we are watching it at home. I have no idea what that is. It's just a thing. All right. Uh, so first of all, we have this. I don't want to show you the front because... Well, actually, I can, I can flip it over and show you the... Uh, yeah, we got we got Elvis stickers and we got a fragile there. So so what I tell what do I tell my people that send me packages? Don't put fragile on the outside of the packages because my mailman looks at that as a target. Okay, this is not frag this fragile sign is not is not fragile. It, it's a target for for kick the crap out of this guy's package. So inside here we have let's let's crack this thing open here. All right, all righty here. We have a, wait a minute, we have a copy of, there's some bubble wrap here, it's a, it's a, it looks like a CD, yeah, I still buy CDs, I'm still, still buying me some CDs, um, CD of, ah, um, Bob Marley and the Whale is Live Forever, September 23rd, 1980, Stanley Theater, Pittsburgh, Hey, hey, okay, yes, this is a two-disc set of Bob Molly and the Whalers. And I was, um, whoa, I got a, I got a question for this, because they, oh, it does, okay. So this was a deal. This was released in three different formats, okay? This was, oh, not formats, three different uh, sets. So you had, you had the two-disc set, which, which was like the regular price or whatever. Then you had the, the Super Deluxe box set. Now, this threw me for a loop, because the Super Deluxe box set came with Three records, which I had no use for because I don't have a record player. So I was like, okay, well, it comes with three records. If you're a record fan, then I guess you want the Super Deluxe box set. Then it came with a book. I wasn't too impressed with the book. I was like, eh, it's, it's, it's a soft cover book. It doesn't have a lot to it. But the packaging was big, like record size big. So I was like, it's going to take up a lot of space. Do I, do I need that because I'm just going to listen to the CDs? So then I did a little bit more research. And I ended up finding that uh, Best Buy had this as an exclusive. And in their exclusive, you ended up getting a th this extra CD inside their their Best Buy exclusive. This extra CD of uh, one, two, three, four, five, uh, five songs and a Molly family interview because uh, this is an enhanced DVD slash CD, whatever. So I'm guessing it's one of these you got to put on your computer type thing. And then you get the two discs like you would get in the box set. And you get a book. The, of course, the book is small. And it's, uh, um, so I decided to opt out of the box set because the box set didn't have the, the five bonus tracks in the interview. So how does that make it super deluxe? I mean, you would think that. So what I was going to get was these two CDs, the three records or whatever, and a book, and that was it. In the box set, and I wasn't gonna get any bonus material. You know what I mean? Like, like this, right here, I got, I got five, five new so five, five songs, live songs, five cuts, whatever, and 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 an interview, and then I get the two CDs. So I, to me, this was the better buy, and it was cheaper. It was cheaper, and it's gonna take up less space on the wall. It's gonna look nice in my Bob Marley collection because I am a Bob Marley fan. Why do I? Because Bob Marley believed in peace and love, man. He believed in peace and love. And and we needed more Bob. Listen, the the world should have there should have been more Bob Mollies. Okay, the poor man died died at age thirty six uh, due to uh, melanoma cancer. And you know what? 
it's true what 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 the uh, Billy Joel says. Only the good die young. It's true. It's it's true. Thirty six years old. The man died of melanoma. Yeah, he, he had a, a bruise on his on his toe playing soccer one day. He noticed the thing, and then all of a sudden, uh, because of his beliefs, he didn't know, he didn't want to go for. They wanted to amputate the toe. He's like, no, I don't, my beliefs. I don't believe in an amputation. I don't believe in. And he let him take a skin graft. That was it. And and he ended up dying of cancer. But the man was full of love, and I, that always blows my mind that there's this miserable people that walk this planet that don't drop dead, but a, a man that's full of love and peace and high, like 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 John Lennon, like you know, like, like peace and love, you know, like Ringo Starr, he's really still alive, but but Ringo Starr, jo George Harrison, peace and love, you know, peace and love, peace and love. Not, not, nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. People make mistakes. People be sinning all the time, making mistakes. But these guys generally were standing in front of crowds and crowds and crowds and never hurt nobody. To me, I, I felt like they never hurt nobody. It was just peace and love. Peace and love. That's what they were preaching. Peace and love. What's wrong with that? How can you go wrong with peace and love? That's how I want my... I, I want my kids to be in a world of peace and love. I got a granddaughter now. I would love for her to be in a world of peace and love. Why everybody's so angry and frustrated and messed up and everything? Need them some Bob Molly. I'll tell you right now, when I when I started um when I started when I when I purchased this thing online, I, I put in my my plugged in my iPod and I started listening to um uh the first one loved. Let give love and thanks to what is it? Thanks to the Lord and it will be alright. Yeah. Everybody, you know, you know the one, right? One love, you, you know, you know the one I'm talking about. And then and then of course my favorite, no woman, no cry. See, you don't even care, man. I got no woman, no cry. No woman, no cry. Your woman done left you. Whatever. Get another one. Bob Molly was so positive. He didn't care about it. He was like, yeah. Whatever. Listen, man. I got, I got, I got, I got I'm dying of cancer. That's the way it's going to be. I mean, I, I wish I had that kind of inner peace. I wish I, I could only help hope for that kind of inner peace. All right. Next one. No, no, uh, no, uh, fragile sticker on here. So I'm safe. And it is a copy of, ah, the Money Pit, yes, yes, due to my uh, recent home uh, fixer-upper situation there, I decided to buy the Money Pit. Everything that I do has to have a Blu-ray to go along with it. That's the thing. Sorry, that's the thing, my friends. If you, if you watch this channel, you know that, okay? Movies are memories, and these movies are my core memories. So at the time, we were having difficulties with our house. I had this on DVD. I'm like, what can I do to... To remember the situation we had with the house and the blessings that we had with the money that was given to us to help us to fix the house. What could I get to remind me of that? And and for seven dollars, I was able to get me a copy of the Money Pit because I was like, it's about the house. Every time I watch the Money Money Pit, I'm gonna think about my home. I'm gonna think about the situation that we just went through. I'm gonna think about all the stuff that we just had to that just happened. And I'm going to give thanks every time I grab this movie. And this is a, it's a great movie. It's a great Tom Hanks and Shelley Long movie. It's about, the, they, they buy this house that they, that's a, their dream home. But the thing, the thing is a, a mess. Now I'm, not, now, I'm not saying that my house is a mess. This house was built in the 1930s where I live right here. And we've been living here for oh, almost 18 years. We have not had a, a hiccup. Knock on, uh, knock on wood. Okay, everything been good. Um, except for this little issue there with uh, some, some rotted wood in the back that the insurance company wasn't happy with. But we done took care of that. So we all set. But the money pit is my core memory for that occasion. Now, this one right here, this this person wants me to die, okay? This this, this was not going to make it out here. I'm, I'm going to show you this thing. Watch this. Watch this. Look at that. Uh, look. Can I, can, is, that, is that good? Are we good? Yeah, okay. Uh, please do not crush. Thank you. Uh, fragile, handle with care. On the back. Check, check this out. Look at this. Look at it. <laughs> I'm surprised that this thing made it to my doorstep. I, I this this has damn I need to pull over the mail truck. I need to find a hardware store. I need to get myself a hammer, a blowtorch, and start beating the crap out of this thing and light it on fire. That's what this guy you you whoever put the labels on this thing, you're crazy. You're done crazy. This doesn't make a difference. Where'd you get these stickers from? Where did you was there a sale at the Dollar Tree? I don't even know where you get all these stickers from. They don't give you these stickers at the post office. I see I listen, I bring things to the post office all the time. I never see these stickers. Look at this one right here. Do not crush. Bend or fold. I mean, it's 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 an elephant. Okay, where do you where do you get these stickers from? Why do you spend all this money on these stickers? They don't care. But the, I mean, thank you. They're pretty. I might I might actually save this one. And put it on like a, like the back of my car. Yeah, that's how how beautiful that one is. But I, I, are you crazy? Is there something wrong with you? I mean, it costs you four dollars to ship the thing. What's in here? That's what that's what that's what you want to know. And uh, I want to give a thanks to um, 
<laughs> the person's name that sent me this thing is Disorderly. Disorderly. And it came from Montana. Wow. So Disorderly has to be the most orderly person that's ever sent me a pick package in my life because they've done got all these things all over the place. And it is a copy of what? Oh, man, it's the new crappy Jurassic Park movie that everybody hates. Yes, everybody hates this movie. I haven't heard one good, good, I haven't heard one good thing about this movie yet. Every single YouTuber that I've watched that bought this thing, they buy it. They buy it because they're crazy like me and because they complete us like me and because they need to have all the Jurassic Park or Jurassic World franchise on some kind of format. Yes, they bought it and, and I, I bought it too and... They're buying steel books. They're buying this one has the extended edition and the theatrical version of what I hear to be the worst Jurassic Park movie to date. That that that's what I've been told. Now now if if it's not, you comment below. No, it's not that bad. Not that bad. I don't know who you've been listening to. I'll tell you, I've been listening to a lot of these really good YouTubers that that watch a lot of movies like me. That's who I've been listening to. That's the ones I've been commenting on this thing. Some of them were reluctant to even pick it up the first day it came out. Like me, I was like, I am not paying twenty five dollars for this thing. I am not paying twenty two dollars for this thing. I ain't even paying fifteen dollars for this thing. I set the price in my head for this bad boy. I'm like, listen. The most I'm going to pay, because all these YouTubers keep telling me that this, this movie just totally sucks, is 12 bucks. Sucks 12 bucks. That's what I was like. You know what? If it's going to be that bad, I, I ain't spending that much on it. Now, did I, get the, did I get the I get the Blu-ray DVD? Okay? Now, I was, I was up in the air about getting the 4K, but I did I, I ended up getting the Blu-ray Blu DVD, and it is factory seal. Oh, wait a minute. It's not factory seal. Look at that. Look at that. So, there... Possibly I got this cheaper because there was no digital code. You know in this channel I always give you the digital codes, but in the case of no digital code, digital code, uh, no, uh, no digital code. So I paid 12 bucks because of lack of digital code. So somebody downloaded this movie and said, it crap, and I'm selling the rest. <laughs> that's, what, that's what happened. Um, it might be good. I mean, I like all the other Jurassic Parks, and I'm probably going to like this one too. I mean, I understand that people be very, very judgmental, especially when it comes to the dinosaur movies. When you, dinosaur movies and shock movies and horror movies and stuff like that, you very, very judgmental people. I understand. This might this might not be the best thing in the world, but I mean, I, I kind of enjoyed all the rest of them. I don't see why I would hate this one. I might not like it, but I don't think I'm going to hate it. I think I've seen some worse movies in my life. That's what I can say about that. And then I got a box. One box left from uh, uh, PF Media... Charlotte, NC, 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 North Carolina. Uh, am I right about that? I, don't, I keep thinking New Jersey might have, but that'd be NJ, wouldn't it? Well, anyway, and it's he this is heavy one too, by the way. It's heavy. Wait a minute. Okay. Oh, we got, we got, we got the styrofoam. We got the sty, we got the, we got the styrofoam. And we got we got the bag or oh, whatever this might be. Oh my goodness, what could it be? What could it be, boys and girls? What could it be? So excited! Oh, I'm so excited! Okay. Oh, it's the complete series of Growing Pains. Yes. Oh, my childhood in a box. Oh, my childhood in a box. Yes. Listen, my friend, I'm going to tell you something right now. The trick to being a good teacher, or being a good preschool teacher, is to never forget your childhood. So I was like, dang, I, I got I got the first two seasons of Grown Pains on DVD. I want the rest. Then I started looking at buying them individually. I'm like, that's crazy. They're like 20 bucks a piece. I'm like, I'm going to pay 20 bucks a piece. And, and I still need, I only got two, I got two seasons and the seven seasons. I, and I'm gonna pay. I'm gonna pay twenty bucks a piece. That's crazy amount of money. Then all of a sudden, I, I scan down on the thing. Twenty five dollars plus shipping. If you go on eBay right now, the guy had like four or five copies of it. There, there's more on there for around that price. So if you are a fan of the the TV show Growing Pains, if you're a fan of like nostalgic childhood TV series like Alf and Punky Brewster and, and The Odd Couple, look, 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 all the family, I'm looking at all my all my stuff up there, Mark and Mindy, Charles in Charge, uh, Three It's Company, Facts of Life, uh, Family Ties, Laverne and Shirley, Good Times, What's Happening, Sa uh, Sanford and Son, The Jeffersons, The Cosby Show, uh, Alice, uh, Boy Meets World, all, all, Gilligan's Island, if you're, if you're a fan of TV shows, 
going to have you some growing pains in your collection. I just named off a few that I can see from here. <laughs> there's, there's more up there. Say by the bell be up there. There's, there's a lot more going on. One day I got to do a um, TV series uh, box sets collection total video. Uh, who doesn't love them some growing pains, man? It, this, 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 was just, this was just great. I mean, kids, kids going through things... And parents helping them to go through the things, and the parents going through things, and it was like a family. It was like a, this, this was a this was like a, I gotta wait all week to watch my grown pains so I can see my my second family, okay? And um, I was happy to get it, and I, and I told the wife I got it. I told her I said I'm ordering this, and I told her the price. She was excited about the price, and she's like, I'm gonna sit down and watch that with you. She's probably not going to. She's probably not going to, okay? Because that's what happens. I'll stop binge watching this thing. And I'm like, uh, you're going to watch this with me? She's like, yeah, I'm going to watch it. We should watch like two episodes and then never again. I think that happened not too long ago. Welcome back, Carter, or something. Something I put in uh, 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 WKIP in Cincinnati. I started, I'm like, I'm going to watch every single episode of WKIP in Cincinnati. You're going to watch it with me. Got like three episodes in. Never saw her again. Um, growing pain. Yes, yes. So if you want to copy, uh, you want to copy the complete series of Growing Pains. There's a couple of dudes on eBay right now that are selling it between, I, I would say, between twenty-seven and thirty dollars. Okay, but for seven seasons, that's a steal. To me, that's a steal. Okay, it is DVD, not available on Blu-ray yet. Yeah, eventually they might have the Blu-ray, and you're gonna, be, and then you're gonna go and upgrade. Yeah, probably, probably. But for right now, this is good enough. But I'm gonna be honest with you about the TV series thing. There, sometimes I don't upgrade to Blu-ray on a TV series. And I'm going to tell you why. Um, I prefer my TV series to be a little bit grainy, to, to be a little bit poppy, to be not so perfect, okay? Because I, I'm going to tell you the truth, because because I growing up, I was sitting in front of a 13-inch color TV or sitting in front of a, a like a 13-inch black and white TV or whatever, whatever I was sitting, growing up, that's, that's what I was sitting in front of. And the, the the screen wasn't perfect. It was it wasn't like it was now. It wasn't HD. This was this was back in in the eighties. This is back in eighties, you know, early nineties, or whatever. And um, yeah, it wasn't perfect. So I so to get that full nostalgic nostalgic feel for it, sometimes it's better to stay with the DVD. It's better to have the little little glitches and little poppy blacky things in the corner and the little little lines that go across and what. It doesn't have to be a hundred hundred and ten percent like a Blu Ray or four K. It doesn't have to be because. That messed up stuff that went on on the TV back in the day will be the same messed up stuff I'm going to see in these these DVDs. Uh, probably better. I mean, they are, of course they're going to be better, but close. You know what I mean? And I think I think a 4K or a Blu-ray might actually ruin that. Might ruin that feel. And with that said, my friends, that that's the end of today's uh, episode here. You gotta. You got to do me a favor. Listen, I am so close to hitting that thousand, thousand subscriber mark, but I need you to hit the subscriber button, okay? You got to hit the like button if you enjoyed what you saw. Comment below. Comment galore. Comment whatever you want to comment. I don't care. I am going to respond to your comments. I'm going to read them because I read and I, ha I hang on every word. I hang on every awesome word that you guys leave there. Listen, whether it be praise or insults or, or comedy or whatever, whatever you guys send my way. I, listen, I had one guy one time... Literally said, uh, after the first five minutes, all I heard was blah, 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 blah. So I'm thinking in my head, he's, he's like, wah, 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 wah. Charlie Brown's teaching. I think I, I was thinking like, like after a while, he, he wasn't getting me. Oh, well, you know, <laughs> I say, hey, hey, this channel ain't for everybody. When you, when, when I sit in front of this thing, you, you want reality TV, you ain't going to get nothing. You ain't get nothing close to reality, more, more reality than, than this guy right here sitting in front of you. And I'm going to be hundred percent honest with you and tell you like it is. And I'm going to show you what I got. I'm going to tell you how I got, I'm going to tell you the best way to get it. I'm going to help you to get the things that you want to get when, when you got nothing, I got nothing right now. I'm going to tell you how I got those things. I got those things because I got some credit cards and I got some paid fours. And I figured by the time I need to make payments on these things, I'm either going to be back to work or I'm only going to have to like this thing right here. 30 30 by so i think i paid what six dollars seven dollars i mean let me i try and do the math in my head i can't really but uh uh paying for six dollars i mean well i didn't pay forty dollars for it. i paid listen you do you do the division okay i ain't doing the division I, that's why i teach preschool because i can't do math um it's like six seven bucks or whatever uh every two weeks i can afford six seven bucks every two weeks i can afford that so thank you paying for and i'll help you guys along the way to get the things that you want or need okay as much as i possibly can along the way and and uh, i got i gotta end this thing with hey listen um i want to thank all of you because i truly believe that your positivity has just pushed me over the edge because what just happened to me over the weekend 
is amazing. And I'll tell you, I've had I've had I've had people on the site that have been rooting for me. When I hit that thousand, I know there's gonna be people more excited about me hitting that thousand than me. There's gonna be there's a guy in particular that that always like as soon as I hit a certain mark or whatever, he he sends me the congratulations before I even know it. So these people are they're, they're rooting for me. I my I, my daughter she'll send me a message every one, before I get a new subscriber. She's like, oh you you got you're up to this much, Dad. I'm like I'm like I didn't even know I didn't know. Let me check. Yeah, you're right, you're right. She goes, you're getting there, you're getting there, you're getting there. Yeah, I'm getting there, but I can't get there without you. Can't get there without you. Uh, hitting that like button or hitting that subscribe button or hitting that bell so that way you know when I, I'm posting. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And if something big happens, something big happens in my life or something drops or I find some sales somewhere or something's going on, then that's when I post, okay? Uh, I try to try to do the best I can to help you guys out. But you got you got to hit the bell and you got to be notified when I do this because it, it, let's say there's some kind of error on a website or there's a mistake somewhere over here. I found something on eBay or I found something on my car. I found something that I need to help you out with. How you gonna know? How you gonna know? <laughs> you know if I post on if I tell you I post on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and all of a sudden on Tuesday I hit a post or whatever on, on Wednesday, on Thursday I hit a, I hit a post or on Saturday or Sunday. One time I did a whole week. I did a whole week straight. I was like, wow, I'm, I'm setting my agor algorithm going crazy. I'm gonna do a whole week. Oh well. Anyway, wow, that was that was that was intense. With that said, my friends, I would like to thank you for everything you do for me. I want to thank you for making this channel what it is. Because without you, I, I, it would be nothing. I'd be talking to myself. <laughs> so with that said, my friends, I will see you later.